So good morning. After discussions with health experts, local and federal officials, and other governors concerning the fight against COVID-19, and reviewing the orders issued by other states, I am issuing the following emergency order. Effective Tuesday, March 24th at noon, all non-essential businesses shall close their physical workplaces and facilities to all workers, customers, and the public. This order will remain in effect until Tuesday, April 7th at noon. I'm also directing the Department of Public Health to issue a stay-at-home advisory outlining self-isolation and social distancing protocols. This advisory will also be in effect until Tuesday, April 7th. We also strongly advise people over the age of 70 and those with underlying health issues to stay home and limit their interactions with others as much as possible. I'll get into some more specifics on what this means for businesses and for everyone at home in a moment. But everyone should know we will always allow all grocery stores, pharmacies, and other types of businesses that provide essential goods and services to Massachusetts residents to continue to operate. And we will not stop anyone from accessing these essential businesses. First, I want to acknowledge the incredible impact this action could have on businesses and individuals. It's not lost on me or anybody else in our administration that many businesses, locally grown and owned by our neighbors and friends, are the businesses most unlikely to be able to put in place remote or telework policies. But I also know that by taking this action now, we can significantly improve our position in this fight to slow the spread of this virus. Acting now to prevent more person-to-person -person interaction and spreading the virus will buy us more time so our healthcare system can better prepare for a challenge unlike any they've seen before. Our goal is to slow the spread by limiting person-to-person -person contact, and a concerted effort now will help us get back to work and back to school. And we all have a role to play in this fight. The people of Massachusetts are meeting this challenge exactly the way we would expect, with determination, cool heads, and a selfless sense of community. And I have no doubt we will all continue to meet the challenge before us. I want to take a moment and explain how this affects everyone at home. There's been a lot of talk about a government mandating people shelter in their homes. I do not believe I can or should order U.S. citizens to be confined to their homes for days on end. It doesn't make sense from a public health point of view, and it's not realistic, especially if people need to get to work at essential businesses or go to places like grocery stores, pharmacies, or hospitals, or healthcare providers. Instead, while all non-essential businesses must close their physical locations to all personnel, we urge people to stay at home and avoid any unnecessary activities, because this will help avoid any unneeded person-to-person -person interactions that could spread the virus. What this means is that everyone can still buy food at the grocery store, get what they need at the pharmacy, and of course, take a walk around the block or at the park. But if you're at the park, there shouldn't be any pickup basketball games, touch football games, or activities or events that create the person-to-person -person contact we are seeking to eliminate. That spreads the virus. We're advising people to use common sense and consider how they can avoid unnecessary close contact with one another. Every step we all take to cut down on the chances this thing has to spread is a way to help our communities get through it. For people over 70 and for people with underlying health issues, this virus is especially dangerous. We are strongly advising these folks to limit strictly close contact as much as possible. What this means is we are asking everyone to support our most vulnerable. Think about ways that you can go to the grocery store for a family member who's part of this high-risk group. Or call up your neighbor before you go to the pharmacy and ask if you can pick up a few things for them while you're out. 
We must all do whatever we can together to protect these high-risk individuals. For those who feel sick or think they have symptoms, stay at home and contact your medical provider. Telehealth, meaning phone calls or video chats with a health provider, is now a covered insurance benefit that Massachusetts residents can use. Using this service protects you and your clinician from unwanted and unnecessary physical contact. For businesses, we are publishing a specific list of categories of businesses that we consider essential to supporting the people of Massachusetts as we battle COVID-19. Go to www.mass.gov slash COVID-19 to find it. Recently, the federal government issued guidance to all 50 states as to what parts of the economy are essential to supporting the country. We followed that guidance and adjusted and updated it to reflect Massachusetts' unique economy. Essential businesses include several categories, but I want to mention a few of them here. All grocery stores and businesses that support them, like shippers, producers, farms, packaging plants, and wholesalers will remain open. Gas stations will remain open. Pharmacies and all medical facilities will remain open. Manufacturers of medical products, pharmaceuticals, and similar businesses that are developing making many of the things we need to battle COVID-19 and other diseases will continue to operate. We are not prohibiting travel. Our transportation system, our roads, bridges, tunnels are open, and our buses, trains, and subways will continue to run. We will continue to ensure that these assets are properly maintained. This is essential for trucks to continue to supply our grocery stores and for medical personnel to get to where they need to go. But just because the T is open doesn't mean we think it's a good idea to take the train downtown to meet up with friends. By limiting the use of public transportation to essential services and activities, we can not only slow the spread of the virus, but better protect our healthcare workers, our grocery store workers, and others who are working every day to keep us safe. Everyone is advised to stay home and limit all unnecessary activities. Online or e-commerce will also continue to be available. And lastly, Restaurants and other businesses that sell food may continue to offer food or takeout and delivery as long as they follow social distancing measures. And as I said earlier, we're publishing a specific list of categories that lays out all the details. Again, we're asking everyone to use their common sense, think about the impact this virus is having on the sick and the elderly, and to limit their interactions with other people. This cuts down on the chances that this virus has to spread. All non-essential businesses are required to operate remotely, as many have already done. Massachusetts is home to companies large and small that lead the world in technological advancement in so many areas. I know that we have the intelligence and the capabilities to make this work so we can come through this together and stronger. These steps are, of course, difficult to take. These aggressive social distancing measures put in place today are designed to give public health experts the time they need to ramp up additional steps that must be taken to effectively push back the virus. Other parts of the world have shown that this is possible. It takes expansive testing capabilities, aggressive tracking, tracing, and isolation measures and developing surge capacity for our healthcare system. And these are obviously profoundly difficult times. I've had numerous conversations with people who have lost their jobs and their businesses and others that are struggling mightily to keep their doors open as best they can and pay their workers. I also attended and spoke via live stream in two empty houses of worship at Temple Emmanuel and at Morning Star Baptist Church over the weekend. As we drastically limit personal contact and force organizations and people to stop coming together, I also sense a loss of purpose. 
As we all know, purpose is what drives us. Purpose is what fills our souls. Many feel lost, and I can see why. But here's the truth. We all have a role. We all have purpose as we battle this disease. Protecting one another from the spread of COVID-19 by limiting physical and social contact and staying at home is profoundly purposeful. Every single act of distance has purpose. Our first responders and emergency medical personnel, those who are essential to our success in battling this disease, need us all to do everything we can to reduce the spread. Reducing the spread honors these orders, honors and protects them and you and your family. There is purpose, there is purpose in these drastic changes in the way we live. We must all embrace, embrace this new way of life and appreciate that here we can all find purpose as we battle this virus together. <laughs>